Finally tonight, we're going to take you to a place that's proudly in the middle of nowhere. It's how they like it. You can see it on Google Earth. They have turned their magnificently quiet valley into a plus. It's the perfect place to listen in on outer space. But that means they need everyone to stay quiet while folks do their work. NBC's Kevin Tibbles has our report tonight from Green Bank, West Virginia. Shh. Listening to the heavens requires silence. In today's noisy world, tiny Green Bank, West Virginia, is the perfect spot for the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. Is this the quietest place in America? I would venture to say that yes, it is. The Green Bank Radio Telescope, or GBT, is the largest in the world. And here's what's going on in space. Big enough to fit a 60,000-seat football stadium in the palm of its hand. We have been able to peer back with the GBT to just after the Big Bang. To listen deep into the seemingly infinite reaches of our universe, you need a very big ear and a very quiet place. Just don't look down while you're doing it. They take quiet so seriously, it's the law. No cell phones, Wi-Fi, or other transmitters for miles around. There's something. There's even a radio policeman patrolling for interference coming from something as simple as an electric blanket. Chuck Knight a politely asks folks to knock it we gotta, off. We've got to live with these people, too. <laughs> we don't need to be making enemies left and right. Extraneous noise means director Karen O'Neill might miss the next Big Bang. It's a one-time deal, and if somebody was running around with a cell phone or with their Nintendos, we would have lost that opportunity. At the general store, Bob Irvin and son Donnie say they don't really miss cell phones. My wife uses hers occasionally, once, but once we get out of here. And you? No. <laughs> <laughs> There is one lonely payphone in town for visitors to make calls. Still, people understand the serious work being done by the giant neighbor across town. You start thinking about how did those stars get there? Why are they there? Um, where did they come from? And that leads you to where did I come from? Should they ever find the answers to the mysteries of the universe? Well, that would be something to shout about. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Green Bank, West Virginia.